This is the true story of tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, or maybe the next day after that, where three colored people, two men and a young woman, risk life and limb to forge a new frontier, to answer the call of their people and explore worlds yet unknown. This is the amazing and perilous journey toward Destination Planet Negro. Our meeting today is the culmination of five years of research and rigorous debate. Dr. Butler will now reveal the findings of the task force to the committee. Dr. Butler. Thank you, Dr. Humphrey. This committee is composed of the greatest minds within the colored community. Our charge was to find a solution to the Negro problem and present it to this committee after years of relentless work and deliberation. This is our conclusion. <coughs> we cannot fight them. We cannot work or live with them. Our only solution is to lead. So I take it that you are talking about a new Back to Africa movement. Oh, yes, well, we could complete work. what Marcus Garvey started. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, Dr. Bethune, we felt that Africa has the same problems that we have here. Colonialism, Jim Crow, poverty, the feeling of inferiority. We must go further. I take the task force has suggested that we join the Communist Party. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Du Bois? I, sir, am no red. As well, I will not participate in any conclusions that do not include my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please, communism is not the answer. Then where? Europe? Become expatriates. Many of our jazz musicians have told us how they feel more welcome in Europe. Europe is not the answer for the Negro. Yes, we'll be tolerated there, but we are not Europeans. We are Africans. And as our numbers grow, there will be problems. Then where? There is no place else. The North Pole? The North Pole is not a home for colored people. Matthew Henson will tell you that. Well, how about the South Pole? Warmer there. <laughs> <laughs> no, the poles are not the answer. We must go even further. There is no further. What could be further? A 
follow me. Nor will I participate in an overthrow of the government. Please tell me you did not spend our money on this. It's not a bomb. It's a rocket ship. Dr. Warrington, he, he designed and built this spacecraft. Dr. Avery is the leading colored physicist in the world. I'm the only colored physicist in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this all makes sense now. Warrington. Howard. Uh, Dr. Horn. We've come to the conclusion that the only solution for colored people is to leave the planet. Are you kidding? Leave. Leave. Yes. The Earth. Absolutely. Boy, you've been drinking Applejack. You can't be serious. Sir, we are serious as a colored man on election day. What planet are we going to? The red planet. Mars. I knew this was a commie plot. Mm -hmm. Doctor, the planet is the color red. Let me get this straight. Your plan is to load all the Negroes in America on this contraption and travel to Mars? And when we get back from Mars, I'm going to run for president of these here United States. Yeah, you can win. You can win. Tell us, Dr. Avery, how can the colored people of this country go to Mars? My crew, Dr. Benita Avery. Dr. Avery will serve as my assistant and navigator on the flight. Dr. Avery is the most qualified astronomer in the world today. And yes, she is a woman and my daughter. Our pilot, Captain Race Johnson. Race's first flight was with the legendary Bessie Coleman at age 10. As a barnstormer, he was called Race, the 10-year-old ace. Because he's young, but Race the Ace is considered the best Negro pilot in the world today. And we are fortunate to have his courage and skill on this mission. Thanks, Race. Call me Ace. Negroes in space. Look, I am not a victim. My father was not a victim. His father was not a victim. We work hard. We stay in line, do as we're told. Eventually, our race will prosper. Well, look, they don't like us nearly as much anymore. That's right. They don't kill us nearly as much as they used to. So, now let's stop all this fool talk. It's not fool talk. George Washington Carr. Four years ago, Dr. Avery and I secretly traveled to Germany, where we met with Professor Werner von Braun and Professor Goddard, the leading scientists in the field of space and rocket research. When I returned, I immediately launched into developing a rocket fuel made out of peanuts, and sweet potatoes. <laughs> I made a profound breakthrough <laughs> using the extracts of peanuts 
and sweet potatoes and combining them with radioactive materials, I have developed an atomic rocket fuel, which I believe will power this spacecraft to Mars. Good gracious of life, what that man can do with a peanut. Now, with my fuel and this rocket, I believe we can travel to Mars, colonize it, and establish a new home for colored people. Planet Negro. <laughs> yes, if you will, Planet Negro. Constructed from the ground up, without the limitations of, of poverty, Jim Crow fear, or white folks. Or white folks. Tell me you did not spend all that hard-earned cash that our people gave us on this, this buster crab, flash in the pan, comic book bullshit. We all admire Professor Carver. You, sir, are the Negro Leonardo da Vinci. But that doesn't mean that you're not a charlatan. Um, may I uh, say something, Dr. Horn? Please, we would be honored, Professor Carver. Now, uh, I, I want to thank you all for your kind words about myself and my work. I am truly grateful. But you see, it's not about me. It's about white folks kicking our asses. Dr. Carver. Oh, don't Dr. Carver me. Look, I'm tired of playing the humble scientist for these peckerwoods. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, boss. Thank you, boss. Oh, no, sir. I don't need no money. I do it for the glory of God. Now, if I were to receive money for my inventions or demanded credit for my, my breakthroughs, I'd be lynched. In prison or worse. Mm, count on. Like that peanut butter plan, for instance. Now, before long, every white child in America would be asking his mammy to put some of it on top of some bread with some molasses, honey, or jelly. Hmm. And what do you think they'll say? Oh, that old colored scientist, Dr. Carver, made it possible for me to get this good taste and mess stuck to the roof of my mouth. Hmm. Hell no. I won't see a damn quarter. Hmm. Probably not. Oh. They'll probably put my name on a jar, po-ass Uncle Carver's peanut butter and nothing. Oh, well, that's all right. I don't mind. Yes, sir, I play the coon. <laughs> but you see, color folks gonna have their day, understand? Now, Dr. Horn, since you don't seem to support our plan, then get your motherfucking Uncle Tom ass out of the way, cause baby, we going to Mars. <laughs> Give us some skin, Dad. <laughs> you we'll take off from here, Race. Right. And then you're gonna have to take a hard left here at the moment. Hard left. Yeah, dodge, yeah, it, right? dodge it. Dodge it. Obviously, there is much that we do not know about space travel. But Dr. Carver has something that may help. Come with me. <laughs> well, now, I've consulted with some of my fellow Negro inventors, uh, Elijah McCoy, Garrett Morgan, and Granville Woods. And we've come up with this. I give you strong. Incredible. Strong? I named him after my old master when I was a slave. <laughs> Boy, he's the real McCoy, huh, Doc? Mm. Now, I programmed him with many functions that hopefully will help us solve some of the mysteries of, of the Red Planet. <clears throat> Strong. What you want there, boy, huh? I, I programmed him to speak like my old master. <laughs> uh, Strong, is the air on Mars safe? I ain't been there yet. Look here, uh, take that damn shift roll and carry on back here, cause uh, the air could be bad for Negroes, maybe so now. I won't. Yeah. I think I, I may need to rethink this. <laughs> Dr. Carver, Dr. Carver, look, the latest edition. Our niggas to leave Earth. Lynching planned for later tonight. The Uncle Tom, they snitched. But there's only one thing to do. Get the hell out of Dodge. Ah!
done now. Let's get out of here. You all gonna have the prayers of a hopeful nation of, of, of Negro people. Man, I hope this crazy ass shit works. Sheriff, step on it, man. I'm going as fast as I can. We can't let him get away. It's just up ahead. You can't miss it. It's a big rocket. And they was in a rocket ship. Believe me, they have a rocket ship. Oh, no, no, they getting away. Why no, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. My goodness, that's one hell of a view. Clear area for blast off. Are we safe here, Dr. Carver? The rocket ship is in a 120 foot tall bunker with cast concrete walls, and we are over a quarter of a mile away. How far away do we need to be if it explodes? Mississippi. First time I thought I'd be safer in Mississippi. I think we're ready to go. Okay. Oh, the scope is working. Communications? Communications are up and running. All right, co-pilot instrument ready? Co-pilot instruments ready. Strum? And now, boss, the system's good as they gonna get. Light this here candle for the police get here. Mm-hmm. Clear area for blast off. What do you think, Doctor? Will they make it? I predict someday, Negroes will have a place to call their own. Besides Harlem. Open the gate, we're coming through. Carver. Sorry, Sheriff's on his way to stop the flight. Okay, thank you. Motherfuckers. All right, gang. Here we go. Stand, Stand by, by for count off. Ten. Nine. Eight. eight seven, seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Blast off. Woo! That there room of candor. Toe is something, huh, Captain? Don't let him fool you. He's putting on an act. All right, what you talking about, Uncle? Oh, look here. This old uncle ain't smart enough to do no play acting. Look here, I got this here violet for you. Give your wife. He is shucking and jiving you. Oh, you know it's better than that, boss. People ask me, boy, how you make them plants grow so good? Well, I sing to them. I sure do. Look at here. Darkies never dream. Mm -hmm. They must laugh and sing all day. Mm -hmm. Can't forget about your troubles when you're thinking <laughs> what they are. You can't find the sunshine when you're reaching <laughs> for a star. Reminds me of my dear old man. Oh, 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 yes, sir. God rest her soul. Yes, sir. <laughs> She had, these big, she had these great, soft, pillowy breasts. Yes, I used to lay my head down oh, yes, there. Sir. She'd sing to me. Oh, oh, I'm sure she was a good woman. Oh, she was the best. Yes, I sir. loved her. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, oh, sir. Oh. You're a good nigger. Oh, thank you, boss. Thank you very much. 
Darkies never dream. And my laugh and sing all day. Yes, look. I love that one. Is everything okay? Gyro and radar system, A-OK. -okay. And automatic pilot is A-OK. -okay. Strong? My screen told me that ass A-OK. -okay. Good. Oh, what is that, Doc? What's going on? Oh, we've uh, we've left Earth's gravity. We've become weightless now. Look below the console there. There's a box marked Flag Brothers. There's a pair of magnetic platform shoes. There. Now, why do I have the sudden feeling I should be wearing a big hat and a long coat? Will you miss it much? Uh, some things. Trees, birds, air. A lot of things I won't miss. Poverty, discrimination, mm. being set on fire. I think Mars will be a good place for colored folks. Why? Because a man needs a place he can call his own, to, to stake his claim, to forge an identity for himself. Yes, same things a woman needs. Why does a woman need that? You just said it. It's no different for a woman. We need to find our own, stake a claim, forge an identity. Ain't that why you got men? <laughs> you must be kidding. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm flying. <laughs> oh, I guess I am flying, all right. You must think a woman's place is to be barefoot and pregnant. <laughs> That ain't so bad, is it? What if I said that a colored man's place is to serve the white man? Well, I guess some things you just can't escape, can you? You're telling me. women. Great Scott! What is it, Doc? Meteorites. Take a face of action. Roger. Taking evasive action. Let's go, let's go. Brace yourself, everyone. Hold on, guys. Hard left, hard left! Okay. Man, I'm moving and grooving, but I can't shake them. Look out, look out, going right, going right! Okay. Wait, there's one more, there's one more, look out! Hey, I think we're out of it. I think we're clear. <laughs> she held up. Yeah. She held up. How about that? <laughs> hey. Wait a second. Wait, there's, there's something wrong here, Doc. What, more meteorites? No. 
No, we're speeding up when we should be slowing down. It's like something has lassoed us in, reeling us in. The instruments have gone haywire. What is? What is that? We got smoke. We got smoke. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got smoke. Daddy! Just hey, hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Boy, if I said that one more time, I was gonna kick my own ass. Uh, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright, honey. Strom. Where are we, Strom? We is on what the people be calling Gaia. This is not Mars? I said it was Gaia, fool. Gaia, fool, Gaia. Can we live on this planet? Like everywhere, for a while, then you die. I guess we're just gonna have to risk it. Let's get suited up. It's colored! Gotta be a good sign. Wow. Hey! You guys are colored! Strom! Give me a damage assessment of the ship! Where the ship coming all wrong? Tore up every damn thing. Not too much working. Engines, radio, nothing. All in all, it ain't worth two and a quarter. Well, that's that. You know, if this is going to be our new homeland, don't you think we ought to claim it? Like, officially, Doc? Yeah. We should do it before someone else does, right? Look what happened to the Indians. <laughs> We claim this planet in the name of United. We claim this planet in the name of in the name United. We take possession of this planet on behalf of and for the benefit of all the poor, oppressed, and colored people of the world, Planet Negro. Amen. 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 Look here, there's gonna be one singing, dancing planet. Woo! Look here, y'all, yeah. Dr. Carver, we have landed on Mars, Dr. Carver. Dr. Carver, come in, please. Strong. Strom, I need you to stay here and fix the damage to the ship. We're gonna go explore the planet and find out how habitable it is, okay? You're just gonna run off and leave my metal ass behind here to, to fix the ship? Would you stop crying, Strom? Get yourself together, man. Stay near the radio. I'll find a way to contact you, all right? All right, whatever. Stay behind and fix the ship. I didn't break it. Y'all crashed on this damn. Go ahead. Go. I like working by myself anyway. I work best alone. Strong does. Show do. Take that. Take that is what I say, you dumb son of a bitch. I can't stand you. Colors and flies are dust and spies. <laughs> Why do I keep feeling like I brought the old world with me? Don't tell me you're still mad about barefoot and pregnant. You've never been denied who you are because you're a woman. No, I've only been denied by millions of white men. Try millions of white men and Negro men. Beat that, Buster Brown. 
I don't get you, girl. It's Dr. Benita Avery to you. Right. Well, Doctor, listen. You're, you're smart. You're pretty. You're successful. You know, a good man can make all those bad feelings go away. Okay, okay, okay. Race, but my daughter believes that she expects that when we get here, that it's going to be equal rights for everyone. Not just Negroes, but all people of color and women too. And homosexuals. Homo what? Homosexuals. Homo, 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 oh, you be like, oh, what, what, what do you want to do for this? Huh? I would like homosexuals to have the same right to be who they are, same as us. We are a church-going people, like the like the Negroes that try to stop us. Ain't no way a, a, a Baptist preacher gonna fight nobody for some rights. And that goes for Negroes, that goes for, for women, and for... You can take the Negro off the planet, but you can't take the planet off the Negro. Where are you going? to do the one thing you still can't do. Unless you want one of these, too. You know, you've lost a bit of your feminine side since your mother died. You know that. Yeah, he's a bit of a crude. But you gotta give him a chance. He should just grow up. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys! See? He's a complete idiot! Run! Just run! Just run! Run away! Run! a rocket ship traveling a hundred million miles through space crash landed on some strange planet and what's the first sign of life we encounter some damn white men with guns and beer the deadly three Look, it's a primitive structure of some kind. Let's set up base there. Benita! So, when I went out and I took that leak, mm -hmm. that's when I realized that the oxygen was pretty much the same as ours. Yeah, it seems, it seems fine. However, I, I do smell chicken shit. Hey, what y'all doing? Let's go. You, you, get.
Growing up in Alabama, I've seen that look before. Poor, afraid. Look at their eyes. The hounds are after them. Prisoners? Workers? They could be. Slaves. Hey, get your stinking ass up. On our planet, they would be considered Mexicans. Dad, you know Spanish. Try. Están esquipado de la la ley. Son criminales. Son esclavos. Fascinating. Vamanos, amigos. I once saw with Dr. Du Bois, a, a German film, Metropolis. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Well, doesn't say no us. No guns? Oh, it must be a cowboy town. Can we come in? an ice box. Oh. Did you see that boy? Angry, 
sullen, his pants sagging from malnutrition. It took him one hand as to hold them up in his trousers, falling clear past his bones. You could see his underwear. He didn't even have the strength to pull his pants up. <sighs> and those devices in his ears. It seemed to be sending him messages. Is that how they control us here? Making us complacent and subservient? Whatever it is, he, he didn't like it. Did you see him? Muttering to himself? His head bebopping around all over the place? It, it was like those ear devices were sending shockwaves to his brain, <gasps> torturing him, maybe. Controlling his every move. Yeah, and he wouldn't interact with the white lady behind the register. Did you notice? No eye contact. Yeah, he just kept fingering that little typewriter thing. <gasps> and she seemed congenial, <sighs> friendly enough. And yet he didn't respond. It's like, it, it's like. It's like she was his master. It appears we have landed on a planet where the darker races are held as slaves and whites are their masters. We've got to contact Strom. Stay behind and fix this ship. Who the hell does he think he is? Out here in this hot ass sun, my middle ass just burning up. Had to put my hat on, got me out here working like a field hand. Oh, wait a minute, what is, who is this? Oh, wait a minute, savage, no, savage. Don't, don't take my scalp, don't take my hat, don't take my head. No, no, don't, don't, don't have me. Where the hell are you, boy? I didn't, I didn't Negro come for me, no, no, I'm dead. They took me on the ship, I didn't, I didn't want to go with them Negro. Don't cut me, don't cut me, don't cut me. Now I get it. That was a house slave. Oh. The boy, the malnourished boy. Remember the one who couldn't hold his pants up, yes, remember? Yes, yes. He was a field slave. This planet has a very sophisticated system of subjugation, allowing slaves to, to appear free. They, they can work, they can shop, they can walk about, perhaps even vote, all without an overseer. Because that, that ear device, huh? Remember the ear device, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that tiny little typewriter thing? <laughs> That's the overseer. But Dad, I've seen whites, both men and women, with those devices. Probably Irish. Oh. Beggars. Sure. Three of them, three. To, to go. To go, okay. Bobby, three walking. I'll get you some water. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir. Buddy, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Why? Where is he? He's taking forever. No, 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 stop, stop, stop! What? Is, is this the white mountain? No! There's poisons in the water! <laughs> They put toxins, it's a type of diseases, it's toxins in the water. They only drink their water out of water bottle. Here, here. Ugh. Why would they poison their own water? I don't know, I just got to this planet same as you. Uh, I saw something, something horrific. There is something called a television, like our phonoscope, but with hundreds of channels. That, that play picture shows. Now, there's this one show about gangs of slaves that desperately need medicine, but they won't give the sick slaves drugs. So the slaves murder each other like dogs for the medicine. This was a picture show? No, they said it was reality. What kind of devil planet refuses medications to slaves? I've been to Kansas City. 
They call this place Kansas City. Some things I recognize, others I don't. These people, they look like us. They, they, they speak our language. They took our money. But they're managed by remote control, huh? This could be some kind of parallel universe. Our world just insane. Watching that show, we should be very fearful of these young slaves. They prey on their own kind, especially the black ones. Uh, sir, where do we sit? Where do you think? House or field? Definitely field. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Hi, what's up? Are y'all slaves? Hell no! I know them dudes from slaves. They tried to get me to join that bullshit. Yeah, they got a record contract, so what? Don't make they sound no better than ours. B12. Mama Mau Mau. My boy Monster Truck Rally. Sup? Sup? Three black brothers, baby. Three black brothers. Okay, okay. That thing in your ear that that you're listening to? What is it? You wanna hear? Come on, girlfriend. Shit. What, what, what's, what are happening to her? All right, give, give it here, give it here. Oh, wow. Shit is nice, right? Uh, yes. As, as far as shit goes, this is nice shit. What is this shit? You trying to say something? Oh, no, no, I no. I was, I just, we, we, we don't know. We're not from here. What planet you from? You don't know hip hop. Yo, our sound is progressive. We don't talk no hoes or bitches. However, I did hear that in your hip hop, that you did refer to each other as nigger. Damn right. So you do own him. But no, you know, he's my nigga. Like, Mau Mau's my nigga. But he's white. Well, nigga doesn't mean nigger anymore, nigga. Well, what does it mean? It's a... a term of endearment. Ah, okay. Well, see, where we're from, it means something else. Yeah, well, see, where we're from, Nigger is what they call you right before they kill you. Yeah, they still do that here, too. Oh. What? Where's Benita? Well, she went in there. With him. Is that the professor uh, he was talking about? Is... No, this is a town meeting. Something he wanted us to see. Do you trust him? It looks like your daughter does. Let's go get this girl.
Next senator from the great state of Kansas, I give you the Honorable Howard Horn. The founding fathers fought against slavery, against illegal aliens, and demanded an end to big government. We have rejected their wisdom, shunned our constitution. We are now a socialist country. So who's the colored man? Him? He's a major idiot. I'll give anything to make his ass disappear. We must stop the feminazis. Stop those who think we come from monkeys and not God. My God. That's horn. We will build a wall on our borders that will forever keep them out. The architects of our democracy, our forefathers, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, demand that we take this country back. No. Uh, hey. You don't know who that is. We don't know anyone. Damn. You really are from another planet, girlfriend. People say, Howard, why don't you wear a flag pin? The commander in chief, girl. And I say to them, I will wear a flag pin. Oh, come on. Obama. President Obama. When I take this country back. Obama, Irish. Uh, and, and once and for all, the victim welfare entitlement state. Okay. They hate me on Barack Hussein Obama. The first motherfucking black president of these here United States of America, baby. Really? Yep. I am not a victim. My father was not a victim. His father was not a victim. You are not a victim. So you're not a slave. And the president is colored? Thank you very much. Thank you. Take it slow. You passed out. <sighs> That's Professor Wilborn. She's the one I was telling you about. Can I get you something to drink? Water? I had a... a, a dream. Um, <laughs> there was a Negro president. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You, you, were, you weren't dreaming. What? Could I have something stronger? And get this, his dad is from Africa. Africa? Africa, like swinging around from trees with the loincloth, Tarzan, Africa. Like babies strapped to your back with a blanket, tigers in the backyard, Africa. And his mom is a white lady from Kansas. Dorothy, Wizard of Oz, Ding Dong, the witch is dead, Kansas. Mm -hmm. Are you sure he's black? Oh, he's black. Black, 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 black. Black. The one drop rule still applies here. And I also told them the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. 
You must think we're crazy. We did. Until we Googled you. What? You did, you did what to my daughter? You didn't, you didn't Google me too, did you? Like when I was asleep or something? I swear I'll kill you. This is amazing. <laughs> All these books are about Negroes. I teach African American history. Wait, people study that? Yeah. Professor Wilborn is the shit. <laughs> it's a compliment. Oh. Mm. And that's the new version of Huck Finn that removed the N word. The N word? Oh, wait, hold on. Why would you take out from a book about the evils of slavery? It makes some people feel uncomfortable. So did slavery. Do you remember Hitler, Daddy? The, the German leader? Yeah. He became a real problem. He exterminated six million Jews. By himself? No, it was a group effort. At the rally, they had signs comparing... Did Obama murder Jews too? Uh, oh, no, 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 he just gave us health care. Called the Space Age Three because of their scientific and aeronautic backgrounds. Investigators concluded that the three early civil rights pioneers were traveling when it is believed they were kidnapped and lynched. Oh, what? What? Their bodies were never found. And, and you found this on, on this inter... Uh, net, net, net. In, internet. Yeah. Fascinating. Yo, y'all shit gets freakier and freakier by the minute. And hey, what's that movie? Uh, I see dead people. Yeah, I knew something was up with y'all. Saying colored and Negro. We ain't been called that in like, psh, never. Right, because you all call each other niggas now, right? Hey, my nigga, be my nigga, she my nigga. Come on, school this nigga. What, what? As crazy as all this is, I believe you. And I thank you. For what? For dying for us. I don't know your first name. Karen. You're welcome, Karen. Oh, I have to go to a meeting. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, um, may I come? I'd like that. Will you Google with me? I'd be honored. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> Look, man, I'm gonna help your 1930s ass with the understanding of the modern black man. Oh. Thank you. Nah, man, right on. Right on what? I don't live too far from campus. I like to walk through the old jazz district. Everything is a museum. Integration. Oh, uh, of course. But when Jackie Robinson joined the majors, there was no more need for a Negro League. Are you saying that we integrated with whites, but they didn't integrate with us? That's right. We didn't have to live on the reservation anymore, so we moved out. But then the jobs left, the money left, everything left. It's not easy being a brother. True. It's so much you gotta remember. Like gestures and 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 and, and sayings and, and phrases. Right. Hey girl, let me see that. <laughs> Dude, you go around and get our ghetto pass revoked. They can do that? That can happen. 
But hey, and show me that walk again. All right, this, the walk is the most basic shit. You gotta get the walk right. Everything else is, it's, it's gonna be You just follow with the walk, you know what I'm saying? It's like this, it's real simple. A little bounce, a little shoulders, put a little swag on it, and you done, man, that's it. Nah, man, you you two up in the sky. You gotta you gotta come back down, bring it back down to earth. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're looking at. What you looking at? What are you looking at, man? Nah, man. That shit right there. Uh, that's that, that shit. That shit is loud. Yeah, man. Wow. Well, check this shit out. I got 45,000 songs on this joint. Uh. I can text, I can take pictures, video, Facebook, Twitter, Google, BBC, CNN, NBC, ABC. I got all that shit. I can contact anybody anywhere in the entire world with this joint. And I can make phone calls. Wow. Seems like you could do pretty much anything on there. Except maybe have sex. <laughs> oh, that's that one right there. Whoa, yeah. Only the people who couldn't or didn't want to get out the neighborhood are here now. And they feed off each other. The only good thing about segregation, there was no choice. We had to trust each other. So, do you want to be black? Nah, man, just want to be down, you know what I'm saying? Uh, down, like sad, got the blues. Yeah. Nah, man, like down, like hip, self-aware, knowledge of self, all of that shit, wait, you know wait. what I'm saying? Man, what you saying then, man? Go on elaborate for a brother, man. Huh? What I'm saying it's like being down is accepting people for who they are, what they do, you know what I'm saying? You accept the brother for who he is? Me? You. Yeah, of course. Well, so can I be down? Nah, man. What? It can't... Okay, okay. This ain't slavery day. Yeah. We got people go to this school who think us out there picking that cotton is funny. Yeah. Hey. All of you are right, and that's why we're here today. The theory claims that the universe is comprised of a set of strings that vibrate among each other and allow this phenomenon to occur. When we think of it this way, time is no longer a linear concept. Time is relative. It is the fourth dimension. You and I both know, somebody does something racist, they'll call a meeting, we run and rave, and they leave, and nothing ever changes. May I, may I say something? Oh, really? uh, do Not white students go to school here? Yeah, of course. Well, why aren't they here? We didn't invite them. Why not? thought that they would feel intimidated by all this. They didn't do what was outside. We don't want a bigger problem. I guess we felt that they would feel uncomfortable. 
Now you have a, 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 a Negro colored African American president. If blacks and whites are not ready now, then when will they be ready to be uncomfortable? Quite the impression in there. They want you to join the faculty. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Do they know I'm 105 years old? <laughs> I don't think they care. <laughs> Besides, you carry yourself very well for a 105 year old man. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I guess that means I'm, um, would it be 12? Say the shit. I'm the shit. Yes, you are. Ah! Our hole is closing! Dr. Avery, this is Professor Patel. I have your robot, Strom, on the line. Hold on, and I'll put him on the speakerphone. Go ahead, Strom. This here is Strom, now. Nah? Who this here? Dr. Avery Strom. Can't believe I'm saying this, but it's, it's actually good to hear your voice. Don't act like you Negroes care about me. You Negroes ain't studying me. That's all right. I've been adopted by Chief Bobby. Mm-hmm. Dig in, boys, and back them up. In the Potawatomi tribe, yes, sir. Now, back them up. Back them up. Now. Is the ship functioning strong? Chief Bobby said it wasn't rocket science. His cousin at the old Fina gas station looked under the hood. It's fixed? Is George Armstrong Custer still dead? Dr. Patel, any idea how we got here? Recently, two black holes collided, and uh, that might have created an Einstein Rosen bridge. You could have fallen into one of these black holes and time travel. So, Professor, we need to get back through the hole before it closes. That's right, that's right. You need to realize that these wormholes will collapse, so I need to calculate how much time you have before you're stuck here forever. And one more thing. Let me make this perfectly clear. Don't change any events while you're here or back in your own time. Now you must leave the timeline as you found it, pristine and untouched. What happens if we don't? What happens if... Everything! Everything! Strom, we're on our way. Have the ship ready for launch. Gotcha, Mr. Benny! Gotcha, Mr. Benny! Roger, Wilco, hold up! Let it close. Let the hole close. I go back to Jim Crow, Color Folk, Catching Hell America. We're beautiful here. Yeah, Doc, wh why go back to being porch monkeys? We're, we're part of the hip hop nation now, Doc. Daddy, we've <laughs> always loved America's potential, not its reality. Seeing that man as president, I was able to truly love America. It's our country now, too. Yeah, Doc, we have arrived. We've arrived. This is Planet Negro. Oh, it's the Popo. It's the Popo. Oh. Look out, look out. Oh, okay. So, you're doing a bit of weaving back there. I'm sorry, officer. I got guests in from out of town. We had a conversation. Thank you. Are there any guns in the car? Well, why do you ask, officer? Yes, why would we have any guns, sir? Are there any drugs? No one in here is ill, sir. 
Where is it y'all headed? We're in a huge hurry. We're trying to get no. to it. Like, no, no. They answer those damn questions. That's harassment. Okay, well, we don't want to upset the officer. No, no. But, no. Sir, no. no. We have civil rights now, sir. Martin Luther King had a dream, and he gave us civil rights. Are you aware that we have a black president now? And he's half white, too. You can't treat us like this. Yeah, and not only is the president one of us, but so is the biggest TV and movie stars, the biggest basketball and football players, even the biggest professional golfer. Yeah, Pabo. And his wife is from Sweden. From Sweden. And he banged a bunch more on the side. All of them white. Damn. All this over that little bit. Of I don't even know what I was doing with that. This shit should be legal anyhow, man. Damn. I thought you said shit was good. <laughs> Believe me. That was some good. <laughs> man, you just don't understand how dumb this shit is. Some dumb. Busted over this. Boy. Most of the dudes in here, I bet you they ain't here behind. Some hey, how many y'all in here behind? Some Put your hands in the air. See? Ain't that? Some I thought you said Jim Crow segregation was over. It is. Then why is everyone in here an African-American? There's a couple of Mexicans over there. So this is Planet Negro too. Yeah, ain't nothing but a bunch of African-Americans up in here. But man, those people you talked about, the biggest actor, TV star, golfer, all that, those people are celebrities, man. But they're black too. Not really. Look, celebrities are bigger than being black or white or whatever. They're celebrities, you know what I'm saying? They go to court, but they don't come here. So this double standard, it must have uh, real people. Like these men in here. It must have them quite angry. <laughs> Damn right they're angry. They mad they ain't celebrities too. Do you think B12 is interested in Benita? Benita? Nah. You sure? Yep. I, I don't know. They, they've been acting chummy. Ain't what he want, man. Oh, so he has somebody else already. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Boo. Me. <laughs> Me. Gay? As in a oh. home? But we connected so well. I'm sorry. He's a very nice young man. Yeah, that's probably why you called me girlfriend. Well, that's good that black African Americans are accepting them. Gays? As equals. <laughs> Do you like my dad? I respect your father a great deal. He's done a lot. You life. like him. I'm a physicist. I know what chemistry looks like. But I okay, I I don't I don't understand. You guys are you're down. Yeah, you you down. No matter how down you are for some folk. Uh, white folks. Y'all, man. What? Black people? That's you, man. Go on, get out of here. You hit me to the deal, man. Like, I feel you.
Come. Good luck, celebrity. Doc, I wanted to share with you my complete and total admiration of your expedition. It places all of us, if not the whole country, in an existential crisis of conscience, which forces us to not only re-examine our notion on race, but ultimately, humanity itself. Thank you. No. Thank you. So, we need this in there with Karen. She's trying to get the rappers out. Oh yeah, but how, who got us out? I don't know. I don't know. What in the... That is the longest car I've ever seen. Just you. Look, if I don't see you again, take care of Benita for me. Don't see me again? Wait, wait what do you mean? Look, you can do this. Yeah, it's your thing, blood. Every day, all day. Huh? Believe you that. Oh, two times, two times, two times, two times. We got it. Warrington. Howard, you're the spitting image of your great-grandfather. You know this isn't Mars. <laughs> but it's just as strange. He told me everything. Everything? Oh, yeah. He talked about you constantly. He warned me about you. That your whereabouts would turn up someday like a bad penny. Oh, he loved to speculate about it. That the ship probably blew up once it left his sight. Or that you drifted off out there into that great beyond. Or maybe, just maybe, you somehow did get to Mars. Sorry to disappoint. He would have never guessed time travel. I presume that's what this is? Time travel? You know he was on the sheriff's payroll. Oh, I know. It appears you've carried on the uh, family tradition. <laughs> no. The law is on my payroll now. So this is what a uh, 21st century Uncle Tom looks like. Uncle Tom? No one speaks that way anymore. I'm a businessman. An entrepreneur. A politician. My great-grandfather's role in your expedition would be quite embarrassing for my campaign. I would say this is a bit more important than your campaign, wouldn't you say? Nothing is more important than my campaign. I don't care about any of that. Really? So what do you care about? Getting back home. To our time. I do not want to see you again. You won't. Uh... The civil rights man, Reverend King, he would want me to forgive you and your great-grandfather. Dr. Avery, great-granddaddy informed on him, too. Professor Patel said the ship landed in a remote part of western Kansas. Oh my god, that's the home base of the Patriot Party. You couldn't have landed in a worse place. Look, you three are us. Not just black people, but everyone. You are the American story. Space exodusters. But, but you said that, that they don't want to remember. That, 
that it makes the mom comfortable. See, Horn instructing people to ignore the bloody part of the American story gives permission to the Patriot Party to divorce the past from problems now. Don't other blacks tell them that isn't true? Yes, but they don't believe them. They believe Horn. Horn is the black they know. And they don't even really know him either. But they think they do. Because he believes what they believe. And, and, and that makes them comfortable. Damn! Man, it is complicated being a Negro in the digital age, son. But you three, you counter Horn's lies. Huh. When they find out that a spaceship built during the Great Migration of Negroes North left Earth in search of a better life for black folks and somehow ended up here in the age of Obama, oh my God, you will be bigger than Sarah Palin, Lindsay Lohan, and OJ put together. Become celebrities. Mega celebrities. The astronauts of Planet Negro. Okay, the astronauts of Planet Negro. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Don't you want to stop Horn? Everything we did in our time, it mattered. And everything you do now, it matters. We have to go back. Look at you. You're smart, respected, beautiful. You didn't happen on your own. You happened because people fought and died to give you a chance to be you. You too are a living artifact. You too are living history. I knew he was lying. Well, I got some for his ass. Let's go. Come home, you lost children. Lay your head on my big fat titties, baby. Come on, lay your head. It's Professor Patel. He's located the black hole and has estimated the time that'll collapse. Look at here, y'all. It's my favorite Indian companion. She found it. I have a blue one. Dad. Yo. Oh, Doc. Doc, peek this. Look, 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 look. Pay a word alert. Pay a word alert. Ignorance present. Ignorance present. Danger. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, Jackie Robinson. Danger, Swiss Family Robinson. All the Robinson. Danger, danger. Patriot Party people. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, damn. Doc, Doc, where you going? Doc? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're running out of time. Doc! Doc. I got it. 
Yo, you Paul Revere posing, three corner hat wearing, got no life, duped by the man, constitutionally misguided motherfuckers can kiss my interstellar three fifths a person black ass. Oh, Doc, uh, you on your own. Dr. Avery! We don't want any trouble. Just surrender and end this. Surrender? We know what you've been up to. That large object behind you. The bomb? Bomb? God damn! That terrace is good. Don't shoot, don't shoot! He's got a gun. Don't shoot. I, I don't know this guy out here. I don't know any of these Negroes. Please, please, take me back to my time. I don't like this. I want things to make sense again. I do, I do, I do. Please, please. Oh, I wish I was in a land of cotton. What are you doing here? I got bailed out. Ma and Monster are still in. Don't worry, you'll be going back. I discovered something. Something you should know. Your grandfather was one of us. He never denied that he was black. I ain't talking about no color. I googled him. The good doctor was light in the heel. That is a bald-faced lie. He had three beautiful children. He had a wonderful family. Baby, the down low's been around for a long time, believe me. Well, you can look at this picture and see that he's not a, a, a faggot. Do I look like a faggot to you? Oh, shit. We know who is. And who isn't. Now I'm going back on this rocket to their time. I'm going to find your great-grandfather. And I'm taking these with me. And I'm going to make sure he uses them, too. Oh, shit. How the hell are you going to do that? He's not bad looking, you know. Oh, shit! And you know what? He's not gonna have your father. Your father's not gonna have you. And that will be the end of your ignorance. Now, I'm gonna do that. Right after I kill Hitler. You're sick. <laughs> It's me, it's me. Don't, don't shoot. Let them go. Good riddance. Okay, gang. Prepare for blast off. Prepare. What is it, Strom? Shift too heavy, y'all. Your big fried bologna sandwich eaten by Heinz too ham hock ass fat. <coughs> Oh, shit. The ship doesn't have enough fuel to carry us three, Strom and B-12, too. Someone has to stay behind. I know you was gonna throw my big metal block head ass out the door. Colors and flies I does despise. <laughs> Shut up, Strom. I'll go. You rich? Seems only right. Captain's supposed to go down with the ship, but this ship's not going down. You can pilot her back. A sacrifice has to be made. It's my duty. I don't want you to be the one who goes. A brother's gotta do what a brother's gotta do. <laughs> I want you to come back. With me. Really? 
Yes. Uh, brother man? He went that away. Maybe I. Let's go home. to call Washington? Should they take over? Don't worry. They can't hurt anyone anymore. You're under arrest. What are the charges? Terrorism. You think they made it? <sighs> they made it. Wait a minute. Do you feel that? What? That? What? Oh my. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my. Shit! Why did the congressman vanish? And B-12 must have sold him on the virtues of safe sex. What about the Patriot Party people? I don't know. Maybe B-12 got Hitler. <laughs> you know what I do know? Is this timeline thing? Yes, the shit. I'm glad I stayed behind. Excuse me. You made the white people disappear. I think so. In a way. Maybe. Good. So we too 
would like to go back in time and change the outcome of a few events. Right on. This is the end, or the beginning of Planet Negro. I was getting home, not on the deathbed, this the kind of shit I'm on But don't none of y'all hear me though, off the plane, damn I gotta fix my phone Cause it's fast at LAX when I see some hoes, swear to God, this shit is like the saddest joke I can't complain, this the kind of life I'm asking for First time I ever seen palm trees, first pair of vans, OG and sour D's First time I seen sunset on the beach, it couldn't get any more sweet But the bitter taste in my mouth can't compete in and out, the hundreds and Roscoe's chicken. Der Führer wünscht seinen Kaffee jetzt. Mach schnell, schnell! Hope he likes it black. <laughs> From the 816 to the 785, yeah, this is for my. And everyone out on a day to day grind, yeah, this is for the. Screen, Facebook, the floor, to throw it on you, stream, tweet to your friends, this 